playing the harp for me is just a way of focusing in such a way that everything else takes a back seat. My name is Anne Roos, and I'm a harpist that specializes in playing the Celtic harp. I started playing the harp with Sylvia Woods, and in the harp world, she's very well known now. She said if you wanted to learn to play, she could teach me how to play. I said, great, I really need this, because at the time I had a very stressful job. So I didn't seek out the harp, I think it found me. The Celtic harp is the historic predecessor to the modern pedal harp. I would say it was most popular during the Renaissance period, during the period of Queen Elizabeth I, King Henry VIII. Celtic harps come in all sizes. The largest one I have has 38 strings. Your hands are floating in the air. They are not resting on a fretboard or a keyboard. You don't use your pinky because it won't reach. So that one's useless, so we've got eight fingers to use. The Celtic harp is smaller and it has levers instead of pedals. The levers at the top of a Celtic harp allow you to make for accidentals, which are notes outside of a key. I play all kinds of music. Some of the music I really like playing personally is Celtic music, early music, Renaissance music, because it's kind of a blank canvas. You can make them sound more modern. I can create different harmonies to them that maybe they wouldn't have done back in the times when those tunes may have been played or were popular. My favorite thing to do is to surprise people. I love playing music that they go, is she playing what I think she's playing on a harp? I really enjoy playing music that people just don't expect. When the pandemic happened, I had to find a way to continue to connect with my audience and to bring music to my audience. So I turned to live streaming. And that's how I developed Insomniac Harp Concert Time. Good evening, everyone. I'm so glad you could join me. I'm Anne Roos, this is my Celtic harp, and I'll be playing some Celtic music for you. Insomniac Harp Concert Time is a live stream. It's about 30 minutes long, and what I do is I play soothing harp music, and I also read a meditation so people can meditate to the harp music and it's very soft, it's very soothing, and I air it live at 11 p.m., so <laughs> it's truly insomniac harp concert time, especially for people who may be viewing who aren't in our time zone. It was just wonderful to make a connection with an audience that is continuing to be your audience. When I'm playing music, I'm a conduit for the music. I'm not the doer of the music. I become the audience and I'm listening to the heart music just like anybody else would be listening to it. I don't feel that I'm like it's under my control. So I think that when I'm playing in that sphere, I know I'm playing my best because that music's just flowing through me.